Kia ora and Callum, very appreciated. Um, next up, we're going to hear from my colleague, Wellington City Councillor Tamitha Paul, about how half price fares are helping in Wellington City itself. Kia ora, Tam. Just acknowledging the indigenous people of the Spino in which we stand. And I really do want to begin by acknowledging <laughs> acknowledging the organizers of this Kopapa, the activists and the people who have formed this coalition who have advocated for half price fares in the environment that we've been living in. You know, we've, we are in the middle of a global pandemic and you've managed to organise for political change and not many people can say that. And you've actually made it easier for people to move around and for the most marginalised groups in our society to move around the city and that's no mean feat. So I want to acknowledge all of your mahi and the organising that you've done. And I really want to acknowledge um, the speakers previous to me, especially Callum, what you were saying, you know, that the co-papa of accessible and affordable, reliable public transport is a disability rights issue. If disabled people cannot move about freely, confidently and independently, then that is a human rights issue. And I also want to acknowledge Ben and the union. This is about workers' rights to our bus drivers. They are the workers, they are the people at the coalface of our transition into a low carbon world. You know, these are the workers at the front of climate change. And so they need fair pay. They need to be able to put kai on the table for their whanau. They need to be able to afford to live here in Wellington and in Auckland, the most expensive places to live in this country. They need to have really high class facilities because at the moment our bus drivers don't even have toilets at the beginning and end of their journeys. And that's why we don't have many bus drivers. So public transport, it's a workers issue. But another kind of element to this kaupapa that I wanted to raise is that this is actually about sexual violence prevention too. Because if you don't have reliable transport, how can you get home safely at all times of the day? So it's a climate issue. It's an issue for disabled people. It's a workers' rights issue. And it's about preventing harm in our communities. And that's why I want to commend you for all of the mahi that you've done. And the class lens that you've applied to this too. When I was at uni a couple years ago, we had the Fair Affairs campaign. And that was tertiary students coming together and advocating for 25% um, off of public transport fares. And we did that. But I love to see this new generation of students coming through and saying, actually, it's also about all under 25s, regardless of whether they go to university. It's about our lowest income Fano who have community service cards. It's about disabled Fano and total mobility users who also need access to reliable transport. So I want to commend you and say that for, for Wellington, you know, we've seen the use of PT going up despite hundreds of cancellations. Um, we know that as a city and as a country that a large number of our carbon emissions come from private vehicle usage. So we want to say that, you know, yes, some people will have to rely on a car. Um, I'm thinking about disabled people, some disabled people and some elderly people. But for those of us like myself who don't have to rely on a car, we need reliable and affordable public transport, preferably free. And we need, you know, separated and safe transport infrastructure, including good footpaths, accessible footpaths, and also separated cycling infrastructure. So, yeah, I want to say on behalf of all the people here in Te Whanganui Atara Wellington who have benefited from this half price um, fare program, thank you. And please, let's keep it up because I know that we will continue to use PT. We will get all the drivers that we need and we'll treat them good and we will be on our way to a low carbon transport system. Thank you.